Hey there, I'd love to show you why Guitar Thinker Infinite is such a helpful tool for guitar players trying to continue to learn and get better. You can focus on any category in Guitar Thinker Infinite. There are notes on the fretboard and staff, chord identification, chord construction, chord notes, and at any time you could focus on any of these and it just gives you the opportunity to drill literally infinitely on any subject for guitar and music theory. Um, so let's do some fretboard. So here we've got a note, the third fret on the sixth string. We can see where that note is on the staff as well. And if you know the staff really well, then maybe you already know that this note is a G, or if you know the fretboard really well, maybe you know that this note is a G. But the important thing is that we can see both the staff and the fretboard at the same time to continue to drive home the correlation between the notes on the staff over here and the notes on the fretboard over here. That's a G. Okay, the seventh fret on the sixth string, that is a B. The twelfth fret on the sixth string, that is an octave of the open string, so that's an E. The third fret of the fifth string, that's a C. The sixth fret of the fifth string, that is an E flat. We could also call that D sharp, but given the options here, we're going to go with E flat. You know, if, you're, if you've got an eagle eye, you could probably see that this is marked as an E flat on the staff. E flat. That means one half step below E. It could also be marked as a D sharp, one half step above D. But in this particular case, it's marked as an E flat, so we'll say E flat. Okay, this is our open fourth string. That's a D. Okay, so maybe you can read the staff a little bit. You know that the staff goes F, A, C, E along the spaces on the staff, and that this note has a sharp. So even if you didn't know the fretboard, you might be able to tell that this is an F sharp note. If you do know the fretboard, you might count up from the open D string, maybe if you don't know what that note is, and you might say, okay, that's a D. This is, let's call it a D sharp, half step above D. This is an E. Let's call this an F, which is half step above E. Remember, there's no sharp between E and F. And then one half step below F, excuse me, one half step above F is F sharp. All right, let's call it an F sharp. Oh my goodness. So this note is way up here on the neck. It's going to be really hard to count all the way up from the open third string. This would be G, G sharp, A. Uh, a sharp, we could call it uh, in, in A sharp, it's likely that we'd call this note a B flat. B, C, C sharp, it's, it's just really hard to, to count that up. So the it's much easier to count it as an octave or to, to be able to tell where it is at, from an octave. So an octave from here is two frets up and two strings over. Okay, if we don't know what this note is, <laughs> That's okay. That's the reason why it's so important to learn our fret dots. So the dot on the fifth string, the third dot, this is the seventh fret, is an E. One half step above E is F. And two strings over and two frets down is an octave. So let's call this an F. Okay, 